Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, I Stand Tall. And today I wanna to make a video for you guys related to Forex, the world of trading currencies. And today's lesson is on catching proper entries. Now I know, it's one, uh, I, I know a couple of you guys are struggling with this. And this is a topic that I personally struggled with as well when I first got started uh, trading Forex. And when I learned how to catch proper entries, it blew my mind and it took my trading to a whole new level, right? So I wanna go ahead and I wanna just show you guys the best way to catch proper entries when you're trading in the foreign exchange market. Now, there are different factors that go into catching proper entries, but I wanna give you guys some basic principles on catching proper entries in, in Forex. So the first thing you wanna identify is the direction of the trend, okay? Now we can agree that the Forex markets are only trending about 30% of the time. The rest of the time, it's in, a, it's in consolidation, it's, uh, it's making you know pullbacks, retracements, but when it actually trends is when you're actually able to identify which way the market is going, okay? Now, when we talk about trends, there's only three things the market can do. The market can either go up, the market can either come down, or the market can just go sideways, like this, right? This is what we call consolidation. When the market is going up, this is an uptrend. When the market is coming down, this is a downtrend. And when the market is moving sideways, it's just ranging, all right? We call that a range. It's just going from left to right, all right? Now, when you are catching proper entries, the first thing you want to identify is which trending market you're in, all right? So when you can identify which trending market you're in, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to catch proper entries, guys, all right? So I'm going to show you guys how to get proper entries real quick. Now, the, like I said, the first thing you want to identify is which direction the market is trending. Now, you want to identify the trend on the daily time frame or the weekly time frame, okay? Because you want to look at the higher time frames so that you don't fall into the trap moves that the markets will throw at you on a smaller time frame, all right? So, once you have identified the trend on the daily time frame or the weekly time frame, you want to catch your entries on pullbacks, okay? So, here's how we're going to do it. Let's say, for example, you have the market in a downtrend. So in a downtrend, the market is coming down, pulling back, down, pulling back, down, pulling back, down, pulling back, down, what's next? Pulling back, all right? So this right here is a downtrend. It's very evident that the market is in a downtrend when you can look at it on the daily time frame. So once you have identified which way the market is trending, you want to catch your entries here. So when the market, see the market just doesn't go up or down, right? The market has to have these pullbacks. These pullbacks are caused by traders are taking profits, banks taking pro profits, governments taking profits, large institutions taking profits. So that's when you're able to catch these entries. So if you're in a downtrend, this is a downtrend because the market is making lower lows and lower highs. All right? Now, if you guys are not familiar with these, I highly suggest you guys go to my website, www.everythingevolved.com. <laughs> go to the free section that I have on my website and watch all my free videos, guys. They're gonna teach you guys a lot about trends and etc. Now, the way to catch proper entries is once the market has put this first leg in and it pulls back, you wanna catch an entry here. This is where you wanna place a sell. I hope you guys can see this, all right? This is where you wanna place a sell. So now you're able to cash out, cash out on all of this. Boom, you made your money. You can take profit here, or if you want to hold it, you can hold it. Now when the market pulls back again, you want to catch another entry here. Okay? You want to catch an entry here. You want to catch an entry here. This is where you should be looking to catch your entries. Majority of traders, they mess up, right? They fail in trading because they don't know how to, how to properly rule themselves into making good money because they don't know how to properly trade. What majority of traders do is they see a move like this happen and they get excited. They're like, oh man, this move is happening. I'm missing out on this money. They go into FOMO, that fear of missing out. And the market knows this. The market knows every emotion the traders have when they're trading. That's what the market is designed to do. It's designed to bring out emotions of greed, fear, uh, from you so that they can take your money. Forex is simply a game of taking the money from patient traders, from impatient traders into the bank account of patient traders. That's why you gotta be patient, right? You don't wanna chase a trade. So when this move happens, you don't wanna chase this trade. You wanna wait for this pullback. 
Now, there's a couple of different methods of identifying how far the pullback is gonna happen. One of them is by using a fib retracement. And I teach all of this guys in, uh, in all of my uh, educational videos. If you're able to draw a fib retracement, this might be a 61.8 that it pulls back to, right? So once you see it pulling back and you see it, you see it rejecting and starting to go down, this is where you should be looking to catch your entry. Place a sell right here. And boom, you catch all this money, it pulls back, this is where you should be taking your next sell. This, and then price coming down, you're in profit, it pulls back, this is where you should get in for your next sell. Price comes down. See, you don't want to take a trade right here, alright? This is what majority of traders that fail do. They take this trade and they enter on a sell right here. And when they enter on a sell right here, the market pulls back and now it goes and hits their stop loss. Now it goes and takes their money. Now the smart traders, they wait for this pullback to happen, they catch an entry here. Now they're in profit. The dumb traders, the traders that lose money consistently in the market, they miss out on all of this trade and then they see this whole move happen, they FOMO, they fear of missing out into the trade and now they take a sell over here and boom, now they get fucked. The markets take their money, the banks take their money. Now the, the price pulls back, the smart traders enter here, price comes down, the smart traders make their money, the dumb traders enter here, they lose their money. Boom. The smart traders enter here, they make their money. Dumb traders enter here, they lose their money. Smart traders enter here, they make their money. So the best way for you to actually enter in on trades is for you to catch your pullbacks, all right? Now, usually a pullback will happen to previous market structure. So this right here, where price started pulling back from, is now previous market structure, and this is where price is gonna retrace to. Same thing here, price comes down, this is previous market structure, that's where price will pull back to. Price comes down, previous market structure, this is where price pulls back to. So just by identifying structure, and uh, pullbacks and using things like Fibonacci retracements, you're able to identify which way the market is going and where you should catch your entries. Now, if you were to draw your trend line out like this, once this price comes and breaks above this trend line and breaks above the previous structure, this is now a trend reversal. Now we start talking about trend reversals. I mean, I'm going into a lot of deep topics here, but this is gonna help you guys out a lot. So now, this is, you should not enter a trade here because now the structure has been broken. So we know that now we have a double bottom here. We know the trend is starting to reverse. Now guess what happens? Now price comes up, puts in a pullback here, and then it starts going in an uptrend. Boom. Now you should catch your entry here. You should catch your entry here for an uptrend. All right? So this is just a quick example of how to catch proper entries when you're trading in the foreign exchange markets. Now, if you go to my website, if you have my personal mentorship, you go through my courses, I go into a lot more details of using Fibonacci retracements, trend lines, structure. I mean, I talk about a lot of different factors. You can talk to any single one of my students and they will tell you about how much detail I really go into on this. But this is just a very basic video for all of my traders out there to help you guys catch better entries. And I mean, I could talk about a lot of different subjects, how to properly place your stop losses, how to you know identify your take profits, how to identify structure reversal, trend reversal, trend continuation trades. We can talk about a lot, and I love talking about this, but this is just a very quick video to help any single one of you guys out. I hope this video made sense to you guys. If it did, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a like, share this video, tag a friend that's a trader who you think this would help and uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions and uh, I hope you guys have a very blessed day and I will see you at the top let's get it baby evolve